I have something really exciting to show you. I haven't opened the box yet, so I actually hope that the Zoom M2 is here inside this box. So let's take a look. I already read M2 right there. Oh, thank you so much, Simon. We are in Japan and I had actually no idea that Zoom released new products. So when you told me that Zoom brought out an M2, M3 and M4, I did some research and everything was sold out. What I did is I looked on Amazon Japan and that's where only four units were available and we got one of them. So we paid full price, this is not a sponsored video and if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments down below so that I can answer them. I also plan to make two videos. One is, of course, we go out, we record some sounds with this device and the next one we do a Zoom H1n and mic track comparison video. Enough talk, let me open the box for you. Oh. Oui. Oh wow. This is big, huh? Aha. Uh -huh. So this is how it works now, huh? We need an adapter. And this is it. This is what I think could be the, the successor of the Zoom H1n. But let me just put this one next to the Tascam X8 so that we get an idea how long it actually is. So this is the Tascam X8. And here we go. It's putting this right next to each other. That is long. And the M4, I think, is maybe the same length, but maybe a little wider. I don't know. I don't have this one yet. But what I can already tell you is that here in the back, we have the screw, right? And I use this for the Joby stick or when I put it on a tripod. I can't do this with this one alone. Could have been nice to have a screw here, but I think Zoom had a reason to do it or not. Um, that's why they give you this part. So let me slip this in here really quick. And then you can put this like this on a tripod or on a nanopole. I think for a tripod, you need another adapter to make this work or what I use, Gorilla Pods. Otherwise, I don't see another chance to putting this on we can also take this out and then it's even bigger right so actually it's it's like a real microphone at that point 32 bit 96 kilohertz the m4 192 and the m4 also has xlr inputs we do not have xlr inputs here on the zoom m2 so how about batteries so in order to open this up, I think we have to open the battery lock. Ooh. Yeah, this sticks like this. So you can't lose the screw. This is good. And now this should open up. There you go. Ah. You see, these are different batteries. It's not like the one on the Zoom H1n where we have AAA, here we have AA batteries and we can put them in in just a little bit. So let's look around the recorder really quick here on the right side we turn on the machine then we can change later the menu we have a micro SD slot in here then here we have a line out the volume for the headphones and here we have a USB-C port so right now for me this is the first look right and there's something that I wished this recorder would have and this would be a mic in because that way we could have used our Roland binaural microphones or even a lavalier if I just want to have it on the side and not always using this one but maybe one of the reasons is Zoom has the F2 32-bit and maybe they just said mm, if somebody wants that then they can go with this one and not with that one who knows I don't know but what I do know is that we have a USB-C port here and we can use this as an interface. And maybe, maybe, maybe you can tell me already or later I look into the user manual. Maybe what we can do is we could use an adapter and or maybe a lavalier with USB-C and maybe that could work. I don't know. Let me know in the comments down below. And in the meantime, I'm doing my own research, of course. So underneath here are the capsules. So let's take a closer look. 
everything is plastic, right? So just that you know, nothing is uh, like a metal housing that I feel right now. The capsules are XY, yes. Can you see that? All right, now let me put in the batteries really quick and then we turn it on the very first time. Promise you, this is really the first time for me as well. So it's nice to have you here in Okayama, looking at this beautiful castle here. Maybe if you're curious what batteries I'm using, I love using the Lada batteries, the 2450 milliampere one. So if you have an Ikea next to you, just go there, pick them up and also get the charger already and then you are set. Otherwise, there's a link in the description down below for the Enevelop batteries from Panasonic. They're also amazing. Oh, Coco! Coco! Coco, konnichiwa! <laughs> Oh, this is the first time. Let's do it together, huh? One, two, three. English. Yes, I can change the menu. This is amazing because I actually really thought that because when you buy a Sony camera, for example, here in Japan, it mostly has a Japanese menu, so it's really hard. So. Let's do this. Oh, this is cool. Today is December the 10th. 11th, 10th. Uh, no, 11th. 11th, 11th yeah. yeah. So we do year, month, date. Okay. So it is 4.40 right now. Let's change this really quick. So now in the next setting, we have to choose the batteries. And the ones from Lada, this is the second one. This one here. Ne? And then we just select this right here. Done. And now I have to put in an SD card. Let's do this. I have one here. All right, SD card is in it. So we're actually right now set to record. I just have to change some menus in here. Do you want me to make a walkthrough the menu video? Let me know in the comments down below and we can do this as well. Now let's just go over here and do our very first recording together. Because this is actually really nice with the people here. All right, now let's together our very first recording here in Okayama. Not just together with the ducks, but also with our friend over there. This is it for today. Now you can actually hear the, my voice through this recorder. So what videos would you like to see or hear about this device? Let me know in the comments down below and I can't wait to see you in our next video.